Welcome to the gaming arena on CVCC's campus, getting ready for week number three of Call of Duty. I'm getting ready to load in. We're running a little bit behind schedule as looks like Call of Duty's trying to launch here. And I do not have the correct game title as well. So we'll fix that here. Thanks so much for hopping in and supporting our stream if you're in here. So we're getting ready for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4v4, followed by Rocket League and FIFA here tonight. Loading into the game as we speak, running, like I said, just a little bit behind here. Coach's fault. So I'm getting set into the lobby. Just got a request. Alright, we're getting into the game here. I almost had the freaking ace. We're trying to. Here we go. So we're getting set for COD 4v4 against Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin. I'm trying to see if I'm in the game here. Keeps kicking me in and out. Having some issues, I think. So we're getting set and ready to go. It's going to be uh, Catawba Valley against Bryant and Stratton, as we said. Trying to get this changed really quickly. Talk momentarily, Brad. I saw your redemptions. I'll get those here in just a second. So we've got everything set, ready to go. It's going to be the Red Hawks against Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin. A familiar foe for the Red Hawks. Um, of course, these two schools met in last year's Valorant Championship. So uh, I've just been told the maps. It looks like it's going to be, uh, we'll, we'll do them as quickly as we can. It's going to start with Hardpoint Mercado. There is Mercado. Then we're going to go to s and D Embassy, there is Embassy. Then we are going to go to Hotel for Control, there is Hotel. Then we're going to go back to Embassy for Hardpoint if necessary, and then finishing up, if we go to the fifth map, will be Hotel. And uh, as we've said, best out of three here tonight, it's gonna, our best out of five, three rounds one is gonna win. 
Uh, Red Hawks are 2-0 and on the season. Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin is 1-1 one and one on the season. So we're getting, hopefully getting set to go here in just a second. And I think I might have timed out of the game. Unfortunately. I'm checking the same. Yep, I indeed did time out of, of the game. Unfortunate. So we'll try to keep you posted on how the Red Hawks are doing here this first map. Try to keep you posted on how our Red Hawks are doing. Again, apologies. Bradley, there's your dabs. Looks like Red Hawks are fast and furious over here. So Coach Daniel relaying me some information. Uh, looks like our Red Hawks are up 50 to eight right now on hard point. Again, it's uh, CVCC versus Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin. The Bobcats. And it is Mercado is the first map. Map two is Embassy S and D, and we will we will catch a little bit of that. Hopefully, as we load back in. I'm actually going to leave that lobby just to make sure. Spidey Kid, thanks for hopping in. Apologies for not having this first map. We, we got booted out. you know how they're doing. They're down 61. Red Hawks down 6170. Red Hawks now up 7570. It'll be interesting here. Unfortunately, there's no way that I can view once they're in a map. BSC Wisconsin and Catawba Valley. Again, we'll have Rocket League here in just about an hour, maybe a little less than an hour. And then we'll finish the night with uh, FIFA and Niste. Thank you, Coach Daniel. My uh, brain kind of all over the place right now. I guess while we're here, shout out to um, our friends at Red Bull for some delicious Red Bull and this beautiful fridge that we got in our gaming arena now. Nice, Emmy. Where's 
Looks like going pretty good for the Red Hawks. So far, good communication. 116, 113, Brian and Stratton really close. Tonight we'll have, um, like I said, uh, Red Hawks versus uh, Brian Stratton, Wisconsin in COD. Then we will move over to Rocket League where we will take on North Central Missouri. And then our FIFA matchup is against Iowa Western. So Wisconsin, Missouri, and Iowa tonight in NJCAA competition. Of course, the Red Hawks trying to remain unbeaten on the season. They're already 2-0. and Bryant and Stratton at 1-1 one and one last, I believe, lost last week. But... It is a seven-week regular season. You're trying to, put yourself, trying to put yourself in the best position possible to win those seven games, get yourself a good playoff seeding, good draw. Watching the Red Hawks across the room here, just trying to analyze kind of what the vibe is. Pretty quiet so far. Push it, push it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, same, same. I'm watching I got mid, I got mid, I got mid. Of course, brand new game. Red Hawks played Vanguard last semester. Finished six and three. I'm pushing up, I'm pushing up. Won their first playoff game as a team. Of course, new composition with the addition of Cody Leonard, uh, Kansas recruit. How's it looking? We're also 182, 155. Again, the goal is to get to 250 first. So Red Hawks in good shape right now. Not a lot of talking, but seems like some smooth gameplay over here. We'll get in for the second map. Uh, po possibly. I don't know. Just heard Donovan say go to – what do you all think? Go take the camera and see the team? Maybe a little bit? I'm coming back out I'm coming back out He's low. He's low. Come out of the way. Your call if you want to grab it. Give you the live look in, coach giving play by play. Aim it up just a little bit. Aim it up just a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Getting the POV of uh, our Red Hawks over here. I just I just heard Donovan say we're gonna win right here. We'll go full cam here, why not? Let's go, bro. Talking all that talk about the boundary championship, bro. What's up? Let's call the newbie, bro. What was the final score? 250 to 162. Our Red Hawks take the opening map here tonight. Great job by CVCC to get the opening map win here. We're going to hopefully get in for the second round.
Apparently a little bit of uh, friendly banter in the game already. But that's fine. We'll uh, we'll let talk be talk and play the game. Kirsten, thanks for hopping in. Uh, missed the first uh, missed the first map. My apologies. We I lagged out of the game lobby. Kirsten in chat saying hello. Looks like we're made we're taking a, a quick little break here. I think I got kicked out again. Hey, did I get kicked again? Switch. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. So we're switched over to Codcast now. Let's see if we can actually get a map. Red Hawks tape the opening map against Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin, 250 to 162. It's S and D. We will be on Embassy. I'll show you Embassy again. There is Embassy, the Embassy map. First to six rounds is going to win S and D. Red Hawks up one round here to none. Early in the night, though. Parzival, thanks for the 12 bits. Appreciate you. Uh, while we got kind of a, a quick break in the action, do want to remind you that our Campus Series LAN event is taking place April 22nd, 23rd. Uh, if you type in exclamation point LAN into chat, uh, you can learn more about that event, but we would love to have it's going to feature Valorant Rocket League and Super Smash Bros We'd love to have you here on campus in Hickory, North Carolina for that event uh, It's presented by stay plugged in for the second straight year so And it looks like we are set to go. Hopefully I got the teams correct Red Hawks are in red, so I think I've got the team selection correct It is Call of Duty. Yeah, I do have the teams correct this time. Great job, uh, me. Finally figured it out. As it's S and D. Red Hawks are going to start on the attack. Got a plant bomb. One pick there early for the coal. Bomb goes down for Spider Man. But he's going to get immediately shot. Bradley, thanks for gifting our sub to Kirsten. It's a 2v1 here as it's down to Cryptic. 
Saito? Kai Kaioto? I don't know how you say that. Fourteen seconds. It's gonna come down to And Cody is going to get the elimination there as the Red Hawks take the opening round here on S and D Embassy. Got a little dicey there a little bit, but Cody with the pistol there, the X-12 taking down Sayoto as it was a 2v1 at the end there. Good first pick there from Donovan Irvin. As Red Hawks up one nothing. Cody with a couple of kills there, that eliminations. Thank you, Parzival, for typing exclamation point land in chat. Bobcats will have the bomb. Cody going to be watching long here with that as Cryptic Sayoto is down. Thanks. Another first, first blood there from Donovan. Great pick, uh, pick there from Vante. Hector is going to get English Wiz, and it's down to the last player here. And the final elimination there, Bobcats wipe, team wipe there, 4 nothing. A flawless round on the defense for Catawba Valley, as you see Cody with the final elimination on Tolu there. With the tack, Red Hawks will switch sides now. Bradley, you have gifted 56 subs in chat. You are a machine. 2 nothing, Catawba Valley in the lead here on S and D. Bobcats put up a fight early on on hard point, and now the Red Hawks are in control here on on this second map. Bomb is going to go be planted here now for, I believe, Hector. Yes, Hector puts it down. Good pick there. As it's 2v1. And the Red Hawks going to finish it off there again. 3 nothing. A glint of that sniper from Tolu, and it wasn't enough there as Spider-Man Devante takes him down. 3 nothing CVCC on this S&D map. 5 and 1 for five eliminations already for Devante. He's on a four kill streak. Three for Cryptix Sayoto. First pick there from Cody. Tolu going to take out Hector. It's down to Cody here. Oh, and unfortunate there's the Bobcats going to take the fourth round, 3-1 now on S&D. Red Hawks halfway to that sixth number. As Cody just misses that shot on Tolu. Switching sides. Catawba Valley. Now on attack. They'll have bomb. It's going to go to Hector. As Cole is going to get taken out, bomb is going to go down for Hector. Red Hawks immediately on B site. The Bobcats caught off a little bit off guard here. 
Good pick for Cody there. Another pick there for Devontae. Gonna get one more pick. As the Red Hawks lose a man early and respond very well. 4-1, Catawba Valley taking the lead. English Wiz falling victim to Spider-Man there. Devontae with the final elimination as it is 4-1. Red Hawks need two more round wins to take a 2-0 map, 2-0 match lead here tonight. Seven eliminations for Devontae, six for Cody. Five for Tolu now to lead Bryant and Stratton. kind of have an idea of where these players are at. English Wiz has the bomb for the Bobcats. Cody going to get the snipe up the ladder there. Going to get another one. As all of a sudden, it is 4v2. Bomb is planted, though. Is Cole going to wipe out one player? And Hector takes out Lude, and that's that's ball game right there for round number six. Red Hawks taking it. They're up 5-1 now here on Bryant and Stratton. Great gameplay for CVCC. Hector throwing a little bit of uh, melee there and with the elimination as it's match point. Map point, Red Hawks trying to go up 2-0 in this match against the Bobcats of, from Wisconsin. Of course, Bryant and Stratton, several campuses across the country. They've got one in Virginia. They've got one in Ohio. They've got one in New York. they got one in Wisconsin. This is the Wisconsin version of the Bobcats. Dead silence activated for Hector. As Devonte just got two eliminations there, I think you'd think that might have been a collateral. As it's three v two, bomb is going to go down on a site there. Red Hawks lose a man, do get some gain some information. Good pick there for Spider Man. As it's down to Hector versus Lude. As Lude going to take Hector down, and they are going to defuse that. So the Bobcats are going to take round number seven. So, so five to two, Bobcats stay alive. As Lude getting the kill there. Hector not looking right at any moment there. It's kind of interesting that he didn't look that way but you never know where the rotations are going to come from 10 eliminations right now for Devonte leads the red hawks eight for cody a bunch with that sniper bobcats have the bomb they're going to get some early contact there Hector going to draw first blood, take down English Wiz. Lude going to take down. Lude going to take down Spider Man. So now it's 2v3v2. V yeah. so we have a really good flank here from Hector. He could get a couple of picks here if he plays this correctly. Uh, 
doesn't though, but does get one, so now it's 2v1 for the call. Bomb is planted for Brian and Stratton. 29 seconds here. Surprised the Bobcats didn't reposition here. They kind of stayed in the same spot that they were last time. Oh, gonna, Donovan tries to hit dead silence, but the Bobcats going to win round number eight here, five to three. Bobcats putting up a little bit of a fight. Fortunately, there's the tack takes out Donovan. Red Hawks again on match point here. Red Hawks will be on the attack here. So these teams adjust to each other based off of the map play. Try to go with the fast plant there. Hector takes off, takes out Tolu. Bomb is going to go down for Hector. Good pick there from Cody. So now it's 3v2. Another good pick there from Hector. And Redhawks take it, and they take map number two, six to three to go up 2-0 on the Bobcats. Take a look at the final elimination from Cody. It's only a matter of time, Louie out in the middle there. Some people celebrating. I think we're having some Valorant practice in here. You see the leaderboard there. 10 apiece for Cody and, and Devante. Seven for Hector and four for Donovan. Seven for Cryptic to lead. Bryant and Stratton. So I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> party will get the next map set. It will be Hotel Control. We'll show you that map. Hotel. There is Hotel. Look at the inside of it there. That'll be our next map. Red Hawks playing control. It's first to three. Getting an invite from Cody here. Hector inviting me into the party. Getting changed on the Codcaster settings. Everything's staying the same, I believe. As so we're getting ready for the Breenberg Hotel, hotel for short, as it'll be Control. Red Hawks up two to nothing on the Bobcats in this week three NJCAA E COD 4v4 matchup. Waiting on a few players from Bryant and Stratton to join. With the win here, Red Hawks would move to 3-0 and as we approach the midway point of the NJCAE Modern Warfare 4v4 season. I want to give a big shout out to uh, two of our, our esports players, uh, Hector and Bailey, who plays Valorant. Both of them taking a visit this past weekend to Cumberland University. 
could be a potential home for them for the four-year level. Of course, that's the great thing about junior college esports is that uh, it's providing so many opportunities for students to join that next level and get spotlighted. May not necessarily be able to go straight into a four-year program, but we're providing those opportunities here at CVCC. I'm doing extremely well. Takes uh, some really talented, amazing players and uh, dedicated leaders, and that's what we have here at Catawba Valley. Parsville, thanks for the eight bits. Looks like we have everybody in here. Of course, control, very similar to uh, hard point, a kind of a mesh of hard point and S and D. There's going to be two points, A and B. You have to gain control of those if you're on the attack. If you're on defense, you got to stop the enemy team from gaining possession of both of those two sites. Once a team on attack has both of those sites, they win. But you only have 30 lives. And once you exhaust those 30 lives, uh, it's ball game. Either way, either for the attack or defense. So you've got to watch your lives, but you've got to gain progress. And you gain progress on each site in thirds. So... Getting the green light from our players. They're ready to rock and roll. Thanks again to our sponsors. You'll see them occasionally on the screen. Corporate Armor, it's Imprano Tech Vester Company. Respawn, exclamation point, respawn if you need a gaming desk or chair. And also Red Fox Gaming over here locally in Hickory area. I believe I may have put the wrong teams on the wrong names this game. So I've just got to remind myself to change those out. So Red Hawks is not Red Hawks. It is Brian and Stratton, and Brian and Stratton is Red Hawks. So my apologies again. Did you see 30 lives? A couple of trades here as we're back to even. Looks like we have the long flank here from Cody. Trying to get in behind these players. He tries to pull that flank, doesn't, doesn't able to do so. Brian Stratton all of a sudden has firm control over this opening opening map here. Devontae going to accidentally eliminate his own teammate. Pick there for Hector. Freeze it, 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 freeze it. Red Hawks down to 16 lives. As Bryant and Stratton takes the opening round here on control. Tolu with the 3K there in the kill feeds. So we'll switch sides here. One nothing, Bryant and Stratton. Again, I mismarked the teams here. Good pick there from Cole and Cody. Another pick there from Cody. So we're gonna stack B site here. Trying to gain possession. Looks like Hector going over to 
Going over to A. Gets another pick there. Red Hawks already have B point. Hector slowly capturing A point. Red Hawks are a machine here on the attack side. Get off of me! Hector playing with a lot of momentum right now. Is it 26 eliminations or 26 lives like for the Red Hawks? Only 19 for Brian and Stratton. Looks like Red Hawks may pull back here a little bit. English Wiz gonna take out Hector there. Lude tries to. Donovan tries to take out Lude, does unsuccessful there. 22, still got good heavy live advantage. Good pick, two picks there for Hector. A third pick for Hector. Now has the control point all by himself now as he's capturing it. They're about halfway there. Good pick there again. Hector still in zone. He's going to make progress. They're two thirds of the way to the victory. Another pick. <laughs> As Hector says, get off of me. And they are off of him, and he is on the site. Red Hawks take the second round here. It does say Bobcats win. Coach messed that up. I apologize. I'm still trying to learn how to do this Codcaster thing. As Hector. Just a machine mowing them down. Call him the groundskeeper. He is he is mowing them down. So we'll switch sides. Red Hawks be on the defense again. Hector with 10 eliminations. Seven apiece for Cody and Cole. Eight apiece for Tolu and Lude to lead Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin. Again, this is first to three tonight. This is the only time we will play control. No! Top of bed. Top of bed. Top bed. Top bed. Top bed. Top bed. Good angle here. A really good angle for Cody there. So couldn't suspect it there. 27 eliminations. Cody is cooking. Hawks, 2A, 2B there. Good pick there from the coal. Brian and Stratton are gonna make some, make some progress. Good pick there for Hector. Another pick there for Hector. A third pick there from Hector. Tries to get a fourth pick, but it gets Cole takes it out. Yes, Hector is crazy. See Bailey here. He had, he got so uh, anxious. He decided he wanted to watch uh, a little bit. I was telling the people in chat about y'all's visit to uh, to Cumberland. He's he's going crazy. Yeah, good old Kentucky. The blue. Or Tennessee, excuse me. I, I keep I keep saying ten, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee. Oh, get turned on, man! I throw an A. He's, he's pushing it right now. And they're not gonna they're not gonna get this control. Oh, they are gonna get to the control point. With 2.3 seconds. Another pick there from Devontae. They are going to secure that first point, so it's going to give them a little bit more time. And wow, Cole runs right into all four players. They have 41 seconds here. Good eliminations. Brian Stratton only has five lives left, so they're going to have to be very and make that four. 
There are no respawns remaining now for the Bobcats, and they're down to 27 seconds as well. So it's down to 18 seconds here. Only eight seconds. Another one, only two two spawns left for Brian and Stratton. Red Hawks have a plethora. They're gonna have to push this together though. There's one more dead. And the Red Hawks take round number three as they take a 2-1 lead. One more. One more round win. It's a final elimination there from Devontae. Sets up match point here. Red Hawks one round wind away from going to 3-0 on the NJCA spring season. These, these four, I believe, are on a mission. They want to win this thing. Cody with 18 eliminations, 16 for Hector, 15 for the Cole. That is the king of all light skins, if you want to know what that stands for. Donovan Irvin. Tough play there, but Red Hawks Cody is going to take out Tolu and English Wiz as they are already capturing A point here. Nah, he thought he was going to hold that, but he did not. Red Hawks are already, I must say, they're already making progress at A, though, so this is great. As Red Hawks have secured A point and they have a good bit of lives left. Oh, wow. Good pick from Donovan there. It's going to activate that dead silence. They're not going to know where he is. Good for him. Tolu going to get the trade there. Hector, Hector, unfortunately, going to take out Devontae, but does take out Tolu. There's a minute and 34 seconds here. Red Hawks do have. Very good angle, and it's going to actually pay off there for Cody as Red Hawks have made a third progress now. Here's Hector again going for two more. Tolu and Lude go down. He hops on the point. They're going to get to the two thirds now. Yeah, I believe it's going to be this is going to be ball game right here. I believe. Oh, oh, he's dead though. Oh no, it's not going to be ball game. Bobcats holding their own, 18 to 15 on lives. Another pick, Cody with a 3K. As it's two thirds. Yeah, and it's over. That's ball game. Red Hawks take it 3 1. They improve to 3 and 0 on the season. You hear the claps in the arena. See what the final play was. Cody with the final eliminations. It was the last pick on Lude. CVCC wins it. Take a look at the eliminations. 28 for Cody. 20 for Hector. 17 for Donovan. As Catawba Valley moves to 3-0 on the season. GG's to Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin. As we'll go back to the just chatting screen. Red Hawks do work. Pick up the victory. Flawless 3 0. <laughs> believe there was a little bit of smack talk before this one about uh, the teams meeting up in the Valorant Championship, and uh, not sure why, but it is official. Red Hawks defeat Brian and Stratton, Wisconsin 3 0.
match result is submitted. So Red Hawks are three and zero in the season. We'll see if we've got any results from the group that the CBCC is in. Looks like a three zero win for State Tech against DC Mountain View and a three zero win for Herkimer against the Northwest Trappers. Of course, Red Hawks have already taken on Northwest and Herkimer. And now Brian and Stratton. So next week the Red Hawks will take on Shelton State Esports. Shelton State in the group right now is 0-2. Uh, and I'm not sure who they're playing this week. They are playing Navarro tonight. So that will be who the Red Hawks take on next week. Yes, GG's McSlappy Hands. So we're going to rotate over to Rocket League now as it'll be Cody uh, Cody and or not Cody, excuse me, Colin, Eggroll, and uh, Casey or Casey, Colin, and Christian. Actually, a bunch of C's. I just realized that. They are our three for Rocket League. Trying to figure out this setting. There's there's the Cole, King All Light Skins. I know Kirsten was in chat, the girlfriend. Actually Bradley gifted Kirsten a sub, so she's not a teach how to use it. She was talking about the Valorant Championship and the Call of Duty match. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It, uh... That's where the Valorant... Look, look, look at my tweet right now. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of smack talk there. No disrespect, to, but... It was kind of an... Hey, yo, Tolu, this isn't Val. This is for our Val team right here. Completely different game. Don't say nothing about it if you can't talk it in the game. So we're going to shift over to Rocket League. If I can. So we're getting, getting that loaded up and set. I'm hoping I don't need an update. I don't believe I do. This coach's uh, Achilles heel is trying to do the updates and the whatnot. So we'll be right back in just one moment, get everything set for Rocket League. We'll uh, stay with us, hang with us here in just a moment. We'll get ready for Rocket League.
Over the head, apologies, Mikey. I've been I've been calling this the whole match, and y'all haven't been able to hear me. My apologies. So we are taking on North Central Missouri College. That's our opponent tonight. Red Hawks trying to tip that out of there. Casey almost knocks it into his own goal. Colin, though, flips it out. Good save there. SpongeBob with the shot on goal. Casey tries to set it up ahead, bounces it off. Eggroll going to rotate around. He's going to try to find it up there. He's going to try to set it up for somebody. Casey was there, but a little bit out of position. Colin and North Central Missouri players battling for this ball as it's 1-0 here with a minute and 34 seconds to go here in the opening game. Of course, this is best of five. First team to get three here tonight. Of course, Catawba Valley would love to get one to start right off the gate. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, though, because the Red Hawks earned a reverse sweep last time. Colin just playing some delicate defense here as SpongeBob is going to fall in behind that ball, going to go up to Suratan. We're just under a minute to go here. SpongeBob going to hit it up. Egg Roll is going to take control of this ball, going to dribble it down to the north central Missouri side. Casey in the middle of the field isn't able to connect. SpongeBob really wanted that goal, had a chance there. As it's going to be a goal for Oreo. What a play here. Let's see the replay. Near midfield, the touch off of Serene. And actually, SpongeBob knocks it into his team's own goal. Mikey, I got you. I've fixed the audio now. 2 0 Catawba Valley in the lead against North Central Missouri here. Game number one, a best of five. Red Hawks trying to. Proved to 2 0 in the season. They picked up a thrilling 3 2 win in their first game of the season. 30 seconds left, actually 27. Is Oreo going to tap it ahead to himself? He's going to take that dribble off. Good movement there. Is Colin. Eggroll tries to crash in there and score. He's not going to be able to do so. Oreo going to rotate back around, reset there. Aerial defense. It's going to spike that ball in the middle of the field. As North Central Missouri is going to get shut out here in the first game. Unless they can pocket it here with no time on the clock. And they're not. 2 0 Catawba Valley in game number one. CVCC takes a 1 0 lead here in this best of five. A goal on, and three saves on three shots for Oreo. A goal for Egg Roll in his debut. And Casey with a shot on goal. It's like SpongeBob accidentally left. Yeah, Mikey, I got you, my dude. Got that prime sub. Make sure you use it on our channel. Of course, Mikey, a alumni now of our program. So I think we're going to reset here, get everybody in. As soon as Casey hops in to the home team. We're going to get set. Game number two, Catawba Valley won the first game one, two to nothing. See if they can add on to that here. Battle for the ball. As Casey's going to win that 50-50, he's going to get demoed, though, by Suratan. Oh! There's a little bit of a little bit of viciousness coming out for the Pirates here. Oh no, and Egg Roll's gonna own goal. Unfortunate there for Catawba Valley. Egg Roll tries to get back there and is unable to. The headsets went dead here for some reason. There we go, got my audio back. One nothing Pirates leading here early. CVCC gonna try to tie this thing up. Best of five is a war of attrition here tonight as Eggroll gonna fly in with a beautiful aerial there. Does not connect. Siratan for North Central Missouri. Tries to pocket it up. 
He's going to set it in front of the goal there. As the players from North Central Missouri, they're just trying to pin Oreo in. They've kind of figured out who the best player is there. Oreo going to get a demolition. Get a little bit of payback there. As it's 1-0, North Central Missouri, egg roll going to bounce that one, try to bounce that away from the goal for the Red Hawks. And a good save there from Oreo. So he's going to try to dribble it to the North Central Missouri goal. He's not going to do so. Good defense there for egg roll. So Red Hawks pushing up ahead. 50-50 ball goes the way of the Red Hawks as Colin tries to pocket it in just out of reach there hits off the side egg roll though is gonna oh try something almost the durian for north central missouri trying to play the spoiler red hawks got full full advantage here and the ball and that butt ball might be in oh casey with a shot on goal almost goes in Action is fast and furious here for the Red Hawks. In game number two, it's one nothing, and again, it was a, it was an own goal. Oh, unfortunate! Eggworld's gonna bounce it off, but to himself, one one. Catawba Valley's tied it up here. Beautiful bounce off the post. It worked out just perfectly there. As Oreo gets a goal, and it will be. Casey going with a 50-50 ball, wins it off of SpongeBob there, pushes it towards the Pirate goal. Tie ball game now, Red Hawks 1-0. Technically, the Red Hawks have scored. Wasted Invasion, thank you, Mikey, thank you for resubbing for three months, appreciate you. As it's CVCC, has, has pocketed every goal of this matchup tonight. The defense has been immaculate. Oreo's going to bounce that ball off. It's pocket placed very well here. Can Casey crash in? He's not going to be able to do so, but Colin has his eyes on it. Again to midfield. Another good save there from Oreo, or from Eggroll. Casey gets demolished there by SpongeBob. No goal once again. Pushing up ahead is CVCC egg roll. Finds some players there in the middle of the field. Casey just trying to get something going here. Colin going to deny it once again. Shot on goal there is going to go top shelf, but it's not going to connect. Good shot there from Durian. Red Hawks have got to watch here. Ball getting dangerously close to the front of the Red Hawk net. As it's 1-1 CVCC in the lead, or 1-1 tied, CVCC up 1-0 here. That ball is going to go heavy off the top of the arena here. As the Red Hawks battling again. Again, another touch there from Eggroll. Lands perfectly to SpongeBob who settles it. As it's again on the north central Missouri side of the field. Red Hawks have played really aggressive. Can Oreo get in? And Oreo's going to pocket it in with 35 seconds to go 2-1 to one now. Catawba Valley in the lead for the first time here in game number two. As you see the nice touch there over two defenders, including SpongeBob, for the Red Hawks. 35 seconds to go. Red Hawks looking for a 2-0 lead here against North Central Missouri, and they have played immaculate defense here. No goals for scored by the Pirates so far by themselves. The only goal scored for the Pirates was an own goal. Good defense there from Casey. Red Hawks will have a chance tomorrow to play again in a remake, remake match. Oreo saves what could be the tying goal. One second. And Catawba Valley going to take game number two, two to one. Two's been the magic number tonight, two nothing and two one. 
so far. Take a look at the stats. One goal for Oreo on two saves, uh, two shots, two saves, uh, two assists for Casey, and a goal and a save for Egg Roll. As it is 2 0 CVCC. They just need one more game win to improve to 2 0 tonight, or 2 0 in the season. Looks like Red Hawks again. Trying to get the victory. Ball will be gone after by Oreo. And SpongeBob's going to win that 50-50. The first goal of the game for the Pirates in three seconds of time here in game number two. Casey going to push this ball up ahead. And another shot there from Durian. So two goals in eight seconds for the Pirates as they were lacking offense there early on. And now they've gotten it. So two goals here in eight seconds. The Red Hawks have got some time here to catch up. And make that three goals now in ten seconds. Huh? Two nothing. We we won 2-0 and then 2-1. And now this is the first goals that they've scored. Egg roll gonna battle for the ball there. Red Hawks got some work to do here, and it's not gonna be easy against this uh, North Central Missouri team. As they have come out of the gate. Egg roll with a save there. North Central Missouri pushing on in. Could have had another potential goal there. Red Hawks look like they're a little bit off kilt here a little bit this this game. Egg roll gonna try to set it up for a teammate. Nobody there, unfortunately. Oreo comes crashing in. He plays it patiently. Ball's gonna go off the top here. Can somebody pocket it in? And it will be Oreo. Egg roll with the nice assist there. <laughs> Apparently, according to Niste, I got a goal. A goal. <laughs> I, Matt, I'll try it if we if we get it again. I got got to, according to Niste, I got I got to put some emotion into it. Maybe that's maybe that's what's missing here a little bit. CBCC on the attack, down three three to one. There will be no shutout in this second or this third game. Ball is right in front of the North Central Missouri team. Casey tries to spin there and get that goal. It's getting precarious here for North Central Missouri. That ball is going to come back down towards the Pirate goal. Can Eggwell pocket it in? Does not have a chance. Good aerial there. Again, Oreo being patient here. As Durian gonna gonna demo Oreo. Doesn't even give him a chance to even try to score that. Save shot on goal there for Egg Roll. Saved by Durian. Red Hawks now pushing up ahead again. Good save there again from Egg Roll. Nice job on the defense. Red Hawks just searching for a little bit of offense. Defense, it's, it's not been lacking here. Egg Roll's going to try to make something happen here with two defenders on him. Oreo going to try to pocket it. Here comes Egg Roll. Tries to just teardrop that one in. Does not. Again, ball in front of this North Central Missouri goal. Durian with another shot on goal. Eggroll had a great chance there, just couldn't couldn't quite get that one angled right. As it's two minutes and 12 seconds to go here in our third game. Red Hawks and Pirates fighting furiously. Trying to, Pirates trying to stay alive. Red Hawks trying to tie this thing up and get this thing done for the night. 
Here comes Casey. Good shot there. Oh, and tries to aerial it off the back side of the tire there. Doesn't, doesn't quite get it. Another shot there from Egg Roll as he's going to patiently wait. The Pirates are not going to wait. They're going to clear, try to clear that out of there. Again, CVCC just aggressively on the attack here. Just need to get something past one of these Pirate defenders. And SpongeBob now pushes it towards the Red Hawk goal. Oreo again coming through with a good save. But Durian going to put that one away and that might be the the sealer there for this third this third game see the position in case he tries to come back and just misses it unfortunate four to one here Catawba Valley gonna try to get get one back maybe we'll see of course to give up three goals in the first 10 seconds here that's uh that's gonna be costly one of them on a 50-50 ball. Good denial there from Oreo. As he is going to push on that head. He gets denied again. Ball at midfield. Red Hawks try to crash. Oreo trying to just set it up for either himself or a teammate there. The ball is going to dribble in front of the pirate goal again. Nothing doing for CVCC. They can't just can't quite get past this pirate defense. Everall gonna flip that one towards midfield area. 18 seconds to go. Demo there by SpongeBob on Oreo. This Catawba Valley gonna unfortunately drop this third game. Or some early mistakes there gonna cost them. Ball is still alive. So four to one, North Central Missouri. Let's take a look at the stats there. Durian with two goals, a goal piece for SpongeBob and Suratan, and then Oreo with the lone goal for CVCC. An assist for Egg Roll, two saves a piece for Egg Roll and Oreo. It's North Central Missouri going to take the third game, so it's two to one now. Red Hawks want to try to close this one out. They don't want to have the threat of the reverse, dreaded reverse sweep as Oreo and Durian going to go immediately for the ball. On up ahead is the Red Hawks. So good news there. That's 10 seconds in. They haven't done what they did the game prior. Pirates have adjusted very well. Casey tries to flip it there. He almost gives it back to, to uh, Eggroll there. Eggroll going to try to go over top of his goal there. Casey to Oreo now. The GC for this Red Hawk team. Good bounce there as Casey almost has a goal for the Red Hawks. Doesn't quite get it in there. This has been a really good defensive game. Two demos for Oreo as Eggroll puts it in. Sometimes that's what it takes. Boom, boom. You see it there as Eggroll's there to be the beneficiary of that goal. 1-0, Catawba Valley in the lead. Goal, as Niste would say. Red Hawks in good position here. They've got that first goal. Oreo tries to put it in and almost gets it, almost slips past this North Central Missouri team. It's a battle between SpongeBob and Oreo. Good shot on goal there, save from Egg Roll. Egg Roll's gonna push it on up ahead. Ball is gonna get just in and out of the goal there. It was so close for Oreo. That would have been a great second goal and a good cushion there for CVCC. 
Oreo pushes it on up ahead. SpongeBob again, the recipient. Casey battles at midfield, 50-50, egg roll now. Pushing on up ahead, 1-0 as we're nearing three minutes to go. Potential shot, Oreo almost getting a shot on goal there. Another demo for Oreo. Demos worked last time. You use them strategically. Sometimes it'll work out to your advantage. Oreo setting it up for egg roll here. Egg roll flying through the air. So is SpongeBob. There's so many, so much chaos going on here. Oreo again with a nice aerial. He's, he's going to try to set it up for somebody. And it, Casey is there. So 2-0. Catawba Valley. See how this happened. Nice aerial there from Colin. Casey, nice little spin move. Goes right past SpongeBob for the goal. And he has that uh, Phoenix uh, explosion that he said he specifically put on there because we're Red Hawks. We need to have some kind of bird explosion when, when we score. So I like it. It fits very well. CVCC 2-0. They're up 2-1 in this game. They win this. They're going to improve to 2-0 on the season with a important match. And Durian, unfortunately, says, nah, -uh. I'm not, we're not done yet. North Central Missouri, not done yet. Is Durian going to slip both past Eggroll and Casey there? When Oreo was trailing, 2 10 to go. CVCC up 2 1 here. Eggroll, nice attempt there, almost gets a shot on goal. CVCC trying to get back to its goal. Here comes Eggroll. Durian going to center it to himself there. Surritson tries to get it towards the Red Hawk goal. And again, Red Hawk's in danger here. They need to get this ball away from their own goal here with a minute and 39 seconds. Oh, shot on goal for Surritson. CVCC now pushing it back towards the Northwest, uh, North Central Missouri College team. 50-50 there in front of the Red Hawk goal. Oreo patient as he has been all night. Just working it back. Going on more of a defensive, I believe, here. He doesn't. He wants to make sure they don't give up another goal because that's the important thing. Ball is going to go middle of the field. This could be a good chance here for CVCC. Nobody can close it out there. A minute and four seconds to go. Demolition, Durian taking out Casey. But Oreo back there with the save. He's already in position. Casey now pushing it on up ahead. Good job. And that ball, oh, nearly, if it had got past that one defender, could have been another goal for CVCC. They don't need one now, though. They need to play this last 42 seconds as defensive as they possibly can. Durian going to get a shot there. It's denied by egg roll. Says, not in my house. They're still battling in front of the Red Hawk goal. This is going to go down to the wire. 28 seconds to go. SpongeBob now with possession. Surton with possession for North Central Missouri. An unfortunate setup there as it's just wide. Surriton can't put it in. Two to one. Red Hawks need 12 seconds. Miraculous seconds here as Oreo, is he going to put it in? Put in the final nail in the coffin, and he is. That's going to be the game winner, the game clincher. Bounces it to himself. Nice little spin move right past Durian. As CVCC just five seconds away from moving to 2 and 0 on the season. 50 50 goes the way of the Pirates, but it's not going to matter. And Colin might try to score with all oh, Red Hawks nearly tried to score it again. 3 to 1, Catawba Valley wins here tonight. Take a look at the statistics a goal each for Oreo, Egg Roll, and Casey. One assist, one save for Colin, two saves for Egg Roll as it was a really good match between the Red Hawks and the Pirates as CVCC is 2-0 on the night. A win in Call of Duty and a win in Rocket League moves them to 2-0 on the season. Of course, we will have a rematch next week or a reschedule next week. So we're putting in the, the scores.
Looks like the thing has been submitted. So Catawba Valley winning here, three to one. They win. They win 2-0, 2-1, 4-1, and 3-1. So great job by the Red Hawks. Proven to 2-0 on the season. Again, we will have a rescheduled match tomorrow at 7 o'clock for this Rocket League team. They will be taking on, I believe it's the Jackson Jets. Yes, they will be taking on the Jackson Jets. Uh, if if it allows, I know Jackson, I think they they had some issues with some snow. So that's uh, that'll depend on that, but more, most likely we'll let everybody know on social media whether or not we can play or not, but it's 2-0 two, two and over the Red Hawk, uh, new Red Hawk, Red Rocket League team. And uh, yeah, so we'll be back just a little bit. Uh, Y'all stay with us. Eight o'clock, we will gear up for some FIFA, have some more soccer action as Niste going to take on Iowa Western, I believe is his opponent for tonight. They have confirmed, so we will have a match here tonight. Let's see exactly who. Yeah, it will be Niste against Cyberg from Iowa Western in the third group. It'll be a best of three. So we'll be back here in about 20 minutes. Uh, Y'all stay with us, and we'll just uh, we'll be right back.
All right, we are back here in the gaming arena on CVCC's campus, getting ready for FIFA 23. We've got Niste taking on Cyberg from Iowa Western. This is week number three of competition. Nah, I copy Loki has to go away. Uh, trying to get everything set to go. All right, so we're getting into. <laughs> so we're getting ready for FIFA here momentarily. Appreciate Coach Daniel for relaying a lot of information tonight. We had some kind of chaos. Had a player talk me into uh, one of our players talked me into a Valorant match and uh, looked like it was going to end pretty quickly and uh, ended up going a little bit longer than um, it should have. But we were able to get into COD. Fortunately, we missed the hard point, but we uh, we were able to get the other two. Good night so far to be a Red Hawk. We had a 3 nothing win for Catawba Valley against Bryant and Stratton, Wisconsin. In Call of Duty, the Red Hawks winning hard point 250-162, 6-3 on S&D, and 3-1 on Control. And then our Red Hawk Rocket League followed that up with a 3-1 victory against North Central Missouri College. Winning 2-0 two, two game one, 2 nothing game two nothing game one, 2-1 two, game two. Lost uh, game three, four to one. One game four, three to one. If I got all my numbers correctly. All right, so we're switching over to. Uh, we got to get the correct screen here. Might need to switch here. Need to stay streaming from. This is the way we got to set this this bad boy up. Need to stay streaming here. Looks like our camera's a little messed up here. So we will fix that. Not sure why everything's kind of wonky here. There we go. Everything's fixed. Getting set for FIFA action. Niste against Iowa Western. See what Niste does here. You are going to root for. I did not see it. Whether it was the team, you gonna root, won't root for the team in yellow. I believe that's yellow. Oh. So I got to disconnect here just a couple seconds in. So we are going back to just chatting. Trying to set this up again. Bro, I was like, no. Jen, you abandoned me, bro. What the crap was that? Who did that? Bro, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So try to get everything squared away. Looks like Cyberg's game crashed. Bruh. 
East Day. Looks like Cyborg back online now. They're going to try to go to 3 and 0 on the season. So far, unbeaten on Mondays are our teams. We'll see if Rocket League can keep it up tomorrow. They got a tough test in the Jackson Jets. So it looks like Nista's got everything set. Again, thanks to our sponsors, Respawn, uh, Red Fox Gaming, and Corporate Armor. You'll see them on the bottom of the screen there. Also, shout out to our folks, friends at Red Bull, giving us some delicious Red Bull for our fridge and a fridge over here in our gaming arena. Also, thank you to our new partner, uh, Mr. Gaming Lounge in Newton, 25 North College Avenue in Newton. You're, again, you're going to want to root for the team in yellow. First, first one to two here. Looks like Cyborg having maybe a little bit of issues here. Oh, and it goes off off of the keeper there. Just chilling here momentarily. He's still making some changes. Kind of keep those changes secret. Whatever, whatever uh, tactical changes he wants to make, we leave that to him. We're back here. Looks like it'll be a corner kick as we get back into play. Cyber to ready up. Looks like he lost connection again. <laughs> Not sure if his game crashed again. We'll I'll find out here in just a second. We have some, some internet issues out in Iowa. Right. 
trying to figure out what's going on with Mr. Cyber. Still waiting to hear. It says he's online, so I'm kind of confused here. He's on. It showed it. He was online. It says his their tech guy. Uh, hey, coach, our tech guy's working on it right now. Not sure what's happening. We may try throwing him on a different computer. So. What happened? Like, I guess his game keeps crashing or something. Hey. Or I don't know. He, oh. It looks, it looked weird because he like that one ball he just took and he just sat there. Their coach says it goes in, goes to the loading screen on the match, but doesn't go beyond that. It doesn't what? It it goes to the loading screen on the match, but but doesn't go beyond that. Are you the host? He's the host. See if you can host. I think he's saw uh, switching the computer right now. Sure, let's have a Q&A Monday. For the meantime, coach. <laughs> Just hanging around to see if we can get this uh, situation fixed. I guess I'll go back to just chatting again. Yeah. While well, we got a, a brief period of time here, uh, again, thank you to sponsors, Corporate Armor, uh, Respawn, and Red Fox Gaming, and also... Shout out to one of our newest partners, Mr. Game and Lounge. Uh, they're in 25 hey, North hey, College hey, Avenue hey. in Newton. Thank you so much for their support as well. Uh, also, shout out to Matt's Man Cave Arcades, uh, exclamation point uh, Man Cave, and you can get you one of these custom machines. And if you let him know uh, that CVCC Esports sent you, he'll actually, I believe, give us $200 towards our program. He's So that was a guarantee. So check out Mr. Matt Vega and Man, Matt, Man, Matt's Man Cave Arcades. And then also, uh, if you don't know about it, we're hosting our Campus Series LAN event again through Stay Plugged In April 22nd and 23rd. Be sure to join us here in Hickory. We've got Rocket League. We've got Super Smash Bros. We've got Valorant. Um, we've got a $900 prize pool, so be sure to join us and uh, participate in that LAN event on April 22nd and 23rd here at Catawba Valley Community College. So uh, it should be a really awesome event, exclamation point LAN, if you want to learn more about it. I'll actually put it in the chat. There you go, if you want to register or get some more information. It's only $20 per person. There's also team discounts uh, if you'd like to register as a team. <coughs> Iowa Western Community College, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. We're, uh, we're just killing some time here <laughs> momentarily. Let's have a Q&A Monday, Coach. Q&A Monday? <laughs> Yeah, if anybody's in chat and wants to ask me a question, Mr. Niste a question, Coach Daniel a question, we have Coach Daniel a moat now, so you can throw those in chat and make it look like he's talking out of his emote. I don't know. Last time I, what is Daniel? called like them bits, so you can dab and never dab. Oh, I, I, I dabbed for you. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Because I even said, hey, Niste, I dabbed. Bradley did it earlier. So. Good night so far for the Red Hawks. Uh, they said it's a driver issue, working on getting him on another unit. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm thinking about like. Yeah, I mean. Oh, no, I'm thinking about like. Yeah, I mean. Regarding his guard. This is. How many guys?
So waiting on Mr. Seiberg. So again, uh, our Monday is already set. Uh, be sure to join us this week for our streams. Appreciate uh, Coach Allenbaugh for uh, reaching out to me. Of course, we're both on the sportsmanship committee, so we already got that relationship, which is really nice. So we'll get, uh, hopefully get this set momentarily. But uh, just to give you a heads up on our schedule, so tomorrow we have a reschedule. Again, Rocket League will take on the Jackson Jets, Jackson College at 7 o'clock. Red Hawks are 2-0. and Jackson College is 1-0, and and I don't know if they played tonight or not. I can actually check while we're waiting here. Let's see. Jackson College did play, and they actually got a forfeit win against Jefferson State. So Jackson is 2-0. and The Red Hawks are 2-0. and So that is actually at the top of the group. So the winner of that will be tied with the Borough of Manhattan for the top in their group tomorrow. Two nothing on the day. Hoping to make it three against Iowa Western here tonight. Uh, going back to the schedule though. So tomorrow, seven o'clock, round the Rocket League reschedule. Winner is going to be tied for the group lead. Uh, then on Wednesday, we're going to have Ethan uh, in Smash Bros action at six o'clock against State Tech Z-Man. And uh, Jair was going to play uh, in Smash Bros, but his opponent has already forfeited. So he will uh, hopefully find him a scrimmage or whatnot. And then obviously we'll have our Warzone duos, the Red Hawk Romanos at 2-0, going against a Shelton State team that is also 2-0. And then uh, Warzone Milk and Cookie will be playing as well. And then uh, Thursday, our COD Gunfight team, they're 2-0 on in the season, will take on Heinz Community College, which is 1-1. One and our RH Red Valorant team is 2-0. They'll take on the Monroe Mustangs, who are 1-1. One and, one. and our RH Black Valorant is 1-1. One one. They will have a Q-based matchup. So pretty pretty busy week. We're off to a really good start. 2-0, or 3-0 for Warzone, 2-0 for Rocket League. We stay at 2-0 right now. Um, we've got... Uh, <laughs> We've got Ethan and Jire at one and one on our Smash Bros. Hermanos and Milk and Cookie, the Warzone duos, are three and zero combined, and we're undefeated in COD Gunfight, undefeated in Valorant Open. So Red Hawks doing pretty good so far this semester. <laughs> So just get set for some action. Nice day, don't forget to mute. Sorry, 
Yo soy Groot. Yo soy Groot. Yo soy Groot. Buenas tardes amigos y bienvenidos sí, a este partidazo hoy, la transmisión de EA Sports desde este majestuoso escenario. Soy Fernando Palomo y estaré al lado de Mario Alberto Kempe. No estamos compartiendo micrófono porque él tiene el suyo, tengo el mío. Hoy es muy posible que se defina el título. Hoy podría ser de esos días que guardemos siempre la memoria. El Paris Saint Germain contra el Barcelona. Los tres puntos, Fernando, de hoy no solamente significan una victoria sino que le da la oportunidad de levantar el título. Tiene que jugar tranquila, el objetivo lo tiene muy cerquita. Hicieron un gran campeonato, así que tienen todo a su favor. Lewandowski la tiene. Estos son los 11 del Paris Saint-Germain. Gigi Donnarumma será el portero titular. En la cancha también estará Marquinhos. Él trabajará junto a Sergio Ramos en la defensa. Ahí estará el italiano Marco Berratti que saldrá con Danilo en el medio del campo. Y buscarán formar un tridente ofensivo con el único punta para el partido de hoy. Se verá pequeño el error ahora. Puede terminar siendo el muy grave tiro de esquina. En pantalla, señoras y señores, tienen a los 11 que hoy defienden la camiseta del Barcelona. Ter Stegen bajo palos. Abajo Ronald Araujo trabajará junto a Christensen en la defensa. Pedri saldrá con De Jong en el centro del campo. En el ataque, Tito Robert Lewandowski. Cuidado, que hay peligro de gol. Bueno, están las malas definiciones y las que acabamos de ver. Bueno, la verdad que no han tenido muchas oportunidades en el partido. Encima las poquitas que tienen, fallan. Hay muchas cosas buenas que decir sobre su capacidad en el terreno. Sabemos que es capaz de anotar más de uno y que aprovecha además las capacidades y oportunidades que tiene. Hay que tener sangre fría para esa definición. Y le queda la pelota de nuevo, se puede venir el gol. Pelota fácil para Don Aruma. Hakimi. Han recuperado la pelota y en zona de ataque. Dembélé. La vuelta del balón a Dembélé. Sin dificultad, le regalaron el balón. Andaron a volar la pelota. ¡Qué buena pelota! ¡Lleva fuego! Un equipo que recupera es un equipo que está bien parado. Rafinha. Rafinha va con Pedri. Buena forma de cortar el ataque.
Dembélé. Muy cerca. Formidable. Pero es que reaccionó como cuando te meten bien en la espalda, Mario. La verdad que sí, ¿eh? es impresionante los reflejos de este pedazo de arquero. Dembélé que manda la pelota a la olla. Buena tarea la del guardameta. Ha recuperado, ahora qué podrá hacer con la pelota. Apenas arriba del travesaño. Buena intercepción. Robert Lewandowski. Rafinha. Ojito con Pedri. Fantástico como lo curta. Ahora tiene la pelota y ahora viene lo bueno. Bien salvado el balón. Se viene el saque de manos. No nos engañemos, señores. ¿eh? El pateador buscó esa pelota que iba a destino a la red, pero en su camino se encontró con las manos del arquero. ¡Gol! Así como están... Así como están las cosas, esto puede ser para el campeonato. Mucha alegría en este estadio, Fernando, pero te digo, ¿eh? hay que aguantar la presión ahora. Y acá seguimos con el partido 1 a 0. Gran anticipo. Ya se va a terminar la primera parte y la visita por ahora se está llevando los puntos. Valga la esperanza, nada más, solo eso, esperanza para el cuadro de casa. Y se con una pequeña ventaja, ya es importante. Ahora, en el segundo tiempo, eso te, te da un poquito más de animosidad. Y yo creo que el Barcelona va a salir a hacer más goles en este segundo tiempo. Y supera su marcador. ¡Ojo con este, viene! ¡Mira qué disparo que ha salvado ahí nomás a corta distancia! Ahí va a meter el córner. Esta aún puede terminar en gol. Atentos. Dembélé. Mira cómo llega a interceptar este muchacho justo a tiempo. Ambicioso traslado. Ojo que puede terminar bien. ¡Cayó el empate! Este es otro partido. Y van a tener que empezar otra vez a pensar que para conseguir el título tienen que hacer las cosas mejor. Se ha quedado sin el balón el cuadro culé. Pasado muy cerca esa pelota. Qué bien le pegó, pero no entró. Ha sonado el silbato, se termina el primer tiempo en París, se termina la primera parte en el Parc de Prens. Volvemos al Parque de los Príncipes. Comenzamos la segunda parte. El juego del Barcelona ahora pasa pegadito a la raya. Ahí la tiene para hacerla. Se fue el disparo con mucha potencia. Estaba cerca. La verdad que la distancia era para pegarle de esa manera, ¿eh? Pero... Se pasó, ¿eh? Mucha fuerza le dio. Ahí está, de nuevo tiene la pelota. 
Rafinha. Este pelotito. No pasó nada con el disparo. Tarea fácil para el arquero. Rafinha. Recibe Pedri la pelota. Ahí le queda el quinto a Lewandowski. Ahí le pega. con este nuevo tanto así está la cosa señoras y señores 2 a 1 voy con Pedri este es para Tito y el travesaño dice que no esto se va a terminar acá un segundo gol en estos momentos en contra del Paris Saint Germain hubiera sido catastrófico. Pero el palo lo salvó. Buen robo de balón. Hay saque de banda para el Barça. Voy con Pedri. Ese es de Frenkie. Acá la tiene el Barcelona, se la prestan solo entre ellos, quiere que sea la jugada del gol. Gran respuesta del arquero y la bocha lejos. Al piso y la pelota afuera, saque de banda. No puede mantener, esta es una buena oportunidad. Ahí está para darle tranquilidad a su equipo. Han marcado ventaja, sigue el Paris Saint-Germain. Esa pelota del rival la ha dado Mbappé. Pedri. Rafinha. ¡Está el remate! Se le ha escapado por muy poco la intención. Era buena. Fíjate que ese gol le hubiera dado un poco más de tranquilidad, pero siguen ganando igual. Marquinhos. Ahora tendrán que ir a buscarla. Dembélé. Se queda con la pelota. Dembélé. Buena manera de cortar esa pelota. Lionel Andrés Messi. Venía de posición irregular cuando recibe bien levantada la bandera. Otra pérdida de balón. Dembélé. Lewandowski la tiene otra vez. Hay un rebote claro. Y está... Prácticamente el trofeo lo tiene en sus manos, Fernando. No creo que se vaya a escapar. Bueno, acá vemos la repetición del gol y... No sé, me pregunto. ¿Dónde estaba la defensa? Y por ahora el marcador 3 a 1. Tito Lewandowski. Contundente intercepción. Señores, de momento, el único que tiene la pelota es el Barcelona. La verdad que la posesión de la pelota a veces te da un poco más de seguridad. Y bueno, a veces te permite decidir mejor. Y esta jugada podría ser gol. Viene el portero, pero sigue. ¡Ahí entró! ¡Gol! Después del enorme esfuerzo del arquero, una enorme atajada. La suerte no estuvo de su lado al final. Continúa el partido y la embestida de un Barcelona que se está llevando al rival por delante. Ya casi saboreamos su tercer gol. Yo soy Groot. Lateral que favorece al Barcelona.
10 minutos para que se termine el partido. Controla bien el disparo. Tiro de esquina al centro del área. Sigue el peligro después del remarón ese. Se mandó el arquero como si fuera el último chón y el enlazado. Ahora hay peligro, no lo alejan. Pedri. Ahí lo tiene en ventaja cómoda, poco de coronarse campeón en nomás, Marito. La verdad, Fernando, que han jugado a un nivel espectacular, han controlado principalmente los nervios y se han llevado el partido. ¿Qué más podemos pedir? Levanta la pelota. Este lleva peligro. Claramente, no claro, Sai, pero no lo puedo creer. Quedan tres minutos para que concluya el compromiso. Ha recuperado ya la pelota para su equipo. Oh, se asustó nomás por la presión del defensor. Y va Lewandowski, pero no está solo. ¡Ahí le pega! ¡Ahí está! Y ya los rivales me parece van a empezar a pedir la hora que pite el árbitro que apague el juego. Yo soy Groot. Mbappé. Mbappé. Tostén lo salva. La verdad que se la jugó y ganó. Llueve el córner al centro del área. Se termina todo y tenemos ya brazos levantados con el desahogo que significa festejar el título de la liga en este partido. Um, Groot. Hey, why you keep saying yo soy Groot? Wow. Have you not seen that? What? Uh, Guardian, uh, Guardians of the Marvel? Galaxy? Uh, yeah. Guardian, yeah. Yes. Have you not seen I just don't know why you keep saying it. I was like... And then I heard you say something about I'm the head of the table. Oh, you heard that? Your Roman Reigns shout out. <laughs> Una ciudad como París solo se hace más bella si cabe cuando el clima la acompaña como el día de hoy en el Parque de los Príncipes a donde estamos. Le saluda en esta cabina Fernando Palomo junto al mítico Mario Alberto Kempes. Todos arrancan desde el mismo lugar, todos tienen en el día de hoy la misma oportunidad. Hoy, señoras y señores, el primer partido. 
de una temporada mágica el Paris Saint Germain estará enfrente ojo con la que tiene ahora ojo rápido como un lince el arquero acá está el once titular del Paris Saint Germain Gigi Donnarumma será el portero titular Sergio Ramos trabajará con Marquinhos ahí en el fondo de la saga Danilo saldrá con Marco Berratti en el medio del campo solo hay uno ahí arriba atento con eso Buena chance para Dembélé. ¡Gol! ¡Gol! ¡Qué manera de arrancar el partido! Vamos a ver de nuevo, por favor, señor director, este contragolpe que dio un resultado esperado. Fernando, otro resultado hubiera sido catastrófico por la... O porque estaba muy cerquita la... Entretenido hasta ahora, 1 a 0 estamos. Se puede venir el empate. Acaba de evitar el gol. Dembélé. Dembélé filtrando una gran pelota. Recuperan el balón. Algo pueden hacer. Pero Pellecci de Raruma tapándolo. Tsunami de oportunidad. Le saca pintura el traviseño. Acá no ha pasado nada. Y esa pelota que pega en el palo se salva el Paris Saint Germain. Un segundo gol hubiera sido desastroso. Han recuperado en su propia área. Es el Leo Messi. Ahí será lateral. Ahí saque de mano. Dembélé. Fue centro de Dembélé. Han cortado bien ese esférico. Llega a destino incluso con el arco bajo presión. Tito Lewandowski. Ahí va, el buen pase. Ahí están. Quiere que Mbappé le pegue. La pelota que no supera el jugador. Neymar que le mete magia al córner. Así es como se sale en un tiro de esquina. Formidable. Se le abrió un espacio, lo tiene. Ahora la manda al arco. Ahí está. Entró el impeto el balón y se preguntan cuándo hacen la película. ¿Dónde está el portero? Bueno, y volvemos a repetir. No solamente el gol, sino lo, lo que dijimos. La defensa y el arquero no hicieron absolutamente nada. Está bien. El tiro fue bastante bueno, todo lo que vos quieras, pero tampoco va muy difícil. Señores, de momento, el único que tiene la pelota es el Barcelona. Yo creo, Fernando, que no es novedad que tiene arriba del marcador. ¿eh? Mira que recupera bien y en la ofensiva está espectacular. Y acá pueden aumentar la ventaja. Bárbaro el anticipo. Leo Messi. transición al ataque pero ha sido verdaderamente magistral la recuperación de la pelota Berratti Berratti ahí está Ter Stegen con una zapada formidable de esas que son en el FIFA se ven entra bien y la pelota sale disparada Cuánta imaginación en ese pase. Gran enemigo y está. Pelotón que acaba de sacar. Vaya tajada que hizo este monstruo. 
Tendrá que tener cuidado con la pelota bajo esta presión. Ahí está, es tuya, reclamala. Lewandowski. Corta bien y recupera. Esta puede ser buena porque la tiene de Pelé. ¡Qué atacador de Don Aruma, por favor! ¡Levanta la pelota! Y saca la pelota hasta el otro costado. ¡Es el Leo Messi! La maneja Dembélé. Fue pues centro de Dembélé. Es si no más, ya no hay más peligro. Ahí está Messi. Manejó bien el envío a portería. Lewandowski. Entró y sin dudar. Dembélé, Pedri que respira. No habrá más posibilidades hasta acá llega. Hasta acá llegamos con los primeros 45 minutos en el Parque de los Príncipes. Hoy está haciendo un partidazo y esto no lo puede negar nadie. Fíjate, Fernando, el arquero mismo está pidiendo el cambio, pero el cambio... Partido redondo tras 45 minutos para el Barcelona. Esperan terminarlo tranquilo, sin sobresaltos. Si no lo para, lo van a ver con un abrazo de gol. ¡Ojo, Iván Zupati! ¡Gol! Nada más que nada por hacer con el arco vacío. Lo clave y lo manda al fondo. Bueno, acá vemos la repetición del gol y no sé, me pregunto, ¿dónde estaba la defensa? Se mueve de nuevo la pelota, al final los rivales del Barça solo la están tocando cuando sacan del medio. Renato Sánchez, Paris Saint Germain que quiere explotar la banda, lo ha hecho muy bien para cortar. Pueden ir a volar en el contraataque acá. Y ahí siguen, continúan buscando el contraataque. La quiere el Zufati, salvando bien a su equipo. Se viene el tiro de esquina al área. Ahí está, alejando el peligro. pelota del rival la ha dado Mbappé Pedri Dembélé ahí está Ferran Torres la quiere el Zufati se viene Yo soy Groot. Con la presión que tenía este jugador y estaba encimado, no tuvo reparo en hacerlo. Casi los goleadores y marcó el gol.
Aunque parece que ya tenemos un claro ganador, la fiesta de goles va a seguir 4 a 0. Le queda todavía media hora al compromiso. Y va a probar. Ahí se viene. Es una paliza de verdad. Vergonzoso resultado para los rivales. Ya el marcador grita que esto es una paliza 5 a 0. Tiene atadita Kylian Mbappé y se viene en toda velocidad. Y cambia de posesión ante el ataque. Juega el Barcelona cerca de la banda. Va con Pedri. La maneja de Jong. Ahí está, ahí está. Una pelota que llegó despacito. en el ataque, ojo muy inteligente cambio de frente lateral un mal pase Marito interceptado el cuadro parisino que sube por el costado Regresa al arco sin dificultad. Venían armándose bien en el juego, pero ha perdido el balón. Ojo que pueden pensar en la contra desde acá. Ojo con esta contra, necesitan defensores. Y la pelota que de ahí no pasa. Hubo esfuerzo sobrehumano para que siguiera en juego. Ahí está, cambia rápido de posesión. Renato Sánchez. El Barça pierde la pelota. Estaba pidiendo por apoyos, ahí los tiene. ¡Qué manera de perder el balón! ¡Diez minutos para que se termine el partido! ¡Dembélé! ¡Ahí está Ferran Torres! ¡Buena chance para Dembélé! ¡No hay más peligro tras ese bloqueo! Ah, no, mira cómo regala la pelotita. Se está terminando el partido, el Barcelona lo está ganando, pero con muchísima diferencia. Bueno, cuando uno ve un equipo como este, que no ha cometido errores, que ha jugado de la mil maravillas, que ha manejado la pelota y encima ha hecho goles, está clarito que el resultado iba a ser el que vimos. ¿eh? El equipo contrario. Bien, gracias. Le voy a la ducha. Ojito, en Neymar que la lleva. Atacado en la pelota, se escapa. Ahora le queda sin dificultad, pero más vista la que tapó anteriormente. Intercepta sin problemas. Esta jugada podría terminar en gol. Atento que recibió bien. Un minuto de tiempo adicional. Silbato final, Cuando cierra este partido, gran actuación para el vigente campeón que ha conseguido Yo soy Groot. Esto que va a comenzar y se mueve el balón.
talk to the opponents like when you're in match. It's kind of like yes. Because you're saying I am Groot, I am Groot. Like you're saying it in open mic. Oh. Um, I, I don't know. I couldn't hear. It looked like he was trying to talk and stuff, but I couldn't hear him. So I don't know. Well, I know whenever I play pro clubs with my friends and we go to 